Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm going to do another old school RuneScape guide for you guys. Um, this is the 2006 um, single player old school RuneScape. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions lately. Um, pretty much one of the most common questions on the channel is how do I download this? How do I run this? Um, I've done guides before, but um, sometimes the link doesn't work or something's gone down or something isn't working anymore. So I'm going to show you everything you need to do. Um, this will be the last video I'm doing on it just because I have other stuff planned and um, it just seems that I'm repeating myself a lot. But uh, this video is all you need, okay? You don't need to go to the other ones. This should pretty much tell you everything that you need to know about running it. So um, the first thing you have to do is obviously download the game files um, created by a guy called Midge5. I've never met the guy personally, but there's also a Discord server um, here as well, which you can check out. Uh, the guys in that Discord server are really good. They know what they're talking about, and they're definitely more in a position to help you with your various server issues than I am. So yeah, again, Discord link is right there. Um, but yeah, it's hosted on archive.org, so you can just download the files straight from there. It's about 200 megabytes, but um, should have no problem. I've already downloaded it, so I'll show you what it looks like after. And then the second thing that you have to download, obviously, is Java. Um, that shouldn't take too long either. So um, go ahead and um, download Java. That shouldn't take too long. So I'm going to assume that you've got um, the files downloaded and you've got Java installed. I will take you on to the uh, actual using the game now. So I've downloaded the zip file, which is here. Um, I use 7-zip, but Windows has its own um, file manager for zip files and compressed sort of uh, folders. Um, I use 7-zip because it's free, and, uh, but WinRAR would work just as well. Um, anyway, so extract the folder to wherever you want. I would recommend, because it's not got a folder inside the folder, put it in its own dedicated place. I've just got it in my downloads here for now because I've run this a bunch of times. Um, there's a little update guide here, which I guess you could read, and basically all it's saying is that if you want to transfer progress of any saves that you've got over to um, to to another sort of um, to, to to this, if you've played recently or you've played another version, then you can use this. But to be honest with you, um, I just test stuff on it. I don't really uh, transfer progress. Um, the other file that's included is the uh, God Wars location. So if you want to go to God Wars, it's there in the Frozen Waste Plateau near the Agility Training Area. If you want to go see God Wars, that is. Okay, right, so let's get on with actually running it. Assume that you've got it all downloaded, uh, this is what you've got to do. First thing you have to do, super simple, is run server, right? All you need is that launch command. Don't click anything else, just run launch, okay? and then you'll get these little things pop up. So we can just close that. Uh, well, actually minimize the command terminal. Um, and then you'll get the control panel and the map. I just put them there and there. Um, doesn't really matter too much, but um, as you can see, we've got Lumbridge, Algorid, um, and then sort of Varok here, uh, Motriana, um, Tutorial Island, etc. So again, it's not labeled, but um, you know we can see our players on there and then um, we can click on start server here and that'll start that up and you just give it a minute and then uh, yeah we've got um, uh, populating the server now 30 users 80 I think this fills up to about 200 um, there are definitely ways to configure the server um, definitely a few things you can mess around with here but if you're just looking for sort of like your own kind of things that you want to do then um, we've got like home, runes, food, like if you want to spawn stuff and just play around with it um, then you've got all these things and I'll go over a couple of sheets I guess um, and then we've got uh, the config file maybe we could have a little play around with that I mean there's stuff in here that if, if you're looking to sort of change then um, then you can have a look I mean to me I don't really mess around with the config file too much but I know people want to um, yeah, so uh, you've got whether or not it's a pay-to-play world or a free-to-play world. Um, you can change that zero to a one. So I think zero is free-to-play. 
So if you want to play with members' items, then um, go ahead. And, and by the way, before you change anything on this, I would stop the server and then save this file. Um, and then you've got things like, um, you know, if, if every member is free to play or not, change the amount of wieldy bots, skilling bots, progressive bots, trade bots, and other bots, clan war bots, drop parties, <laughs> scammers, uh, walking bots, XP rate, qu uh, quest XP rate. So again, you've got loads of stuff here. Um, you've got stuff for um, kind of allowing lands. I'm, I've not messed around too much with that, but essentially if you want to play this as a LAN, you would just uh, give somebody else on your local network the same game files and they would connect to the IP address. Um, yeah, uh, I, I, I've done another video on that, so if you want to see that, check that out on the channel. I'm not going to go into too much detail here. Again, um, you can mess around with a few items here, but um, essentially the the variable and then the configuration will tell you what to do. So that's the server config file if you want to mess around with that. But I'm just showing that because you have to use a little bit of brain power here and figure that out on your own. Um, it can be a little bit sort of not obvious, but if you want to mess around with the config file, you can. And then obviously um, the second part of this is the client. So we've got the server running. And as you can see in the bottom corner, we've got all our people running around, right? So uh, the next thing we want to do is click on launch in client. And I'm just going to run that and give that a second. And um, here we go. We've got our, uh, we'll just turn the uh, music off for a second. Um, and then obviously we can just log into the client. Um, any name and username you pick, that will be automatically registered. So um, if I just um, video and then I make um, just a new character here. So if you log in with a new username, that will be a new person. Again, we can, um, Customize our character, same sort of thing on Tutorial Island. Um, I'm going to skip Tutorial Island. And you, again, you can choose Iron Man if you want to, um, and, and do the tutorial if you want to. Oh my god, I think I actually accidentally clicked I want to do the tutorial. Uh, right, let's turn the music off. Uh, but yeah, uh, you can see the basic functionality of it, and I will show you actually. Um, now, funny that we've done this, I can show you. Um, what it's like to actually make a uh, new character as well. So if we log out here, um, you see we've just logged in with video as our character, right? But um, if we wanted to make a new character, all that we would have to do is simply log in with a new username and password. So um, if we just call this one uh, guy and password guy, and we log in, uh, oh, all right, I think it won't let us do that one. If we just call this, uh, New test. New test. There we go. Okay, there we go. All right. And again, um, we've got a new sort of save, right? This time I won't click, I want to do the tutorial. Normal. Um, yes, it's game mode. And do I want to skip the tutorial? Yes, there we go. Right, okay, now we're in Lumbridge. Sorry about that little blunder, but um, I can have the music on or off if I want to um, and I'm going to turn it off just for the second I mean I could have it on quietly maybe how's that work all right okay maybe maybe not but um, yeah so um, on the map we can kind of see where players are as well so if we want to wander around and um, see people obviously we've got bots going around um, you know, we've got all the old school sort of graphics and textures for um, for, for people as well. So um, you will find people playing in the world. Um, sometimes they will be sort of clustered in uh, different places. Uh, yeah, so you will, you will encounter little bugs like the sound not coming on for a bit. I turned it down a little bit, um, but <laughs> some of these uh, names are really funny. Uh, the combat works fine. I'll just show you guys that quickly. Um, oh, that's a dairy cow. I didn't mean to do that. Um, but yeah, as you can see, lots of little things have been included in this. But the combat works fine. I don't think I'm getting any sound on this combat, but um, uh, the XP rate is not accelerated at the moment, but you can change that, obviously, in the server config files. 
Um, yeah, as you can see, works fine. Um, and you obviously, uh, I know this is kind of uneventful, but I'm just demonstrating that uh, it is possible to sort of um, to have these little interactions. Again, it's going to take a while. Alright, we'll just uh, leave that fight for another day. Um, hopefully it doesn't fall me out. Okay, good. Right, so um, another thing that a lot of people ask about is how to get the cheats to work. And oh my god, that cow is following us out. Why don't you just leave me alone, please? Thank you. Alright. Uh, maybe if I hide here. There we go. Right, so um, obviously um, I'm on a free-to-play world, but um, I could um, activate some cheats. So um, I think one of the ones that people are interested in a lot is levels. So if I do semicolon, semicolon, LBS, like that, I can now set my skill levels. So if I set my strength to 99, my uh, attack to 99, it's just an example. Just set our combat skills up, you know, we can do that. We just right click and um, we can just sort of make ourselves a bit stronger and then we go back to the fight, you know. See, look, and, all, and that all scales up perfectly fine, you know, um, just to show you that it works. See, look, we're unstoppable now, okay. All right, so um, again, you can see that the, um, the cheats work and um, Again, you know, I'm only exploring a very small portion of this. I'm not sure how well the quests work, but I'm pretty sure that all the quests that are listed in the quest journal you can do, because obviously you see in the actual game you've got um, more quests than this, so I think these are the ones that Mitch 5 has added. Um, massive shout out to Mitch 5 by the way, because this is not an easy task. Um, building something like this, especially when you're not the developer. And that is also another thing that I'd like to mention, is that um, there's no copyright infringement here or anything. I don't promote people, um, you know, I mean this is, this is licensed content, but again this is for developers and people that just want to check it out. I'm not necessarily saying that I endorse this, but you know, if you are a developer and you do want to check it out, um, you can do that. Anyway, I'm going to try not to make the video too long, but that's essentially the basics of it. That's where to download it, that's what you need installed, and that's how to get started on it. And again, you know, um, it's very um, straightforward to, um, to get working. Obviously the server config, you can get a little bit more complex with that and just mess around, because there's... I've only scratched the surface of what's on, uh, what's on here at the moment, but um, yeah. Hope that answers all the questions for now, um, and I hope that you guys can all sort of download and play it and, and give it a go, and, and you know, uh, this is a really fun thing to play around with, it is really cool once it gets working, I mean, I like it personally, um, but yeah, um, I hope that you guys like it, and um, if you have any questions, I will try my best to get to them, but um, for now, that's it. Uh, unless anything changes, this will probably be my last video on it. Anyway, I um, hope you guys find everything okay, and I will see you guys in the next one.